Dan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, at your service to talk about another type of phased antenna system. You'll find uh, information about this antenna and similar antennas and a lot more in my upcoming book, Ham and Shortwave Radio for the Electronics Hobbyist, due out in October of 2014. I will provide a link to the Amazon.com page for this book so you can pre-order it in the description of this video. So just go down to the description of this video when you're done watching it. And if you are interested enough to get this book, please do. Please pre-order it. What I'd like to talk about here is something called a broadside array, a phased broadside array. And what this basically is, is an antenna system in which you space the elements one above the other, sort of in a, uh, well, they're, they're dipoles. Each one of them are half-wave dipoles. They're all parallel to each other. You are looking at this sort of in perspective. Uh, the phasing harness is oriented vertically. The dipole is oriented horizontally and the maximum radiation and response come broadside to the set of dipoles, that is at right angles to the plane containing, or plane in which the dipoles are contained. A phasing harness provides uh, feed for these dipoles in such a way that they're all in phase. Remember uh, depending upon how far apart you actually stack them in physical space. And what we've shown here is a little less than a half a wavelength per uh, between each element and the element next to it. So that, when you take the velocity factor of this transmission line into account, you get intervals of a half wave where the dipoles are connected. 180 degrees out of phase each time you go another half wavelength the phase reverses that's why you see this phasing harness shown in such a way that this ladder line is twisted you get a half twist every time you go from one element to the next so that that 180 degree phase shift is undone by phase reversal and you get in phase feed for all of these elements. You can stack a great number of these things one above the other. You can also stack them uh, far enough apart so that each section of transmission line between them is a full wavelength. If you do that, then you don't have to twist the transmission line because it is 360 degrees of phase delay. But you have to take into account the velocity factor of the, this line. And in, in the case of a ladder line, it would be on the order of 90%. So the actual physical spacing between these elements is not a true free space half wavelength. It's a half wavelength taking the velocity factor of this phasing harness into account. Uh, interestingly, uh, if you add enough elements, you can get a fairly significant gain with a bidirectional pattern in an antenna like this. And you can also uh, connect them together in multiple bays, or you can place them side by side with respect to each other so that each dipole lines up with the one in the next array, and you can place like three or four of these all in the same plane side by side, in which case you get a collinear broadside array. And they call it collinear because these elements, these dipoles, each set of dipoles lies along a straight line in space. Dipole number one for each antenna lies along the same line as dipole number one for any other one of the antennas in the array. But this is a, an example of a simple four-element broadside array. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 for now, and so long until next time.